Hey guys, it's Easy Hardscope. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the uh, H1Z1 King of the Kill G34 error code. You're going to hit play and it's going to tell you that you don't have the Service Pack 1 update and you're going to need to download that to play the game. So it's going to take you to this website. It's going to tell you what the code is and tell you how to fix it. If you don't already have Windows 7 Service Pack, then you're going to want to go ahead and download that and that'll probably be your fix. But what I'm helping you guys with is if you had the error where it would not let you download the update. So you click that and it's going to take you here. You're going to download the Windows 6.1 that and then it's going to either be in 64 bit or 32 bit depending on your computer. If you're not sure you can go to computer and properties you'll find your operating system here. So once you know whether you're 32 bit, which is going to be the x86, or your 64 bit, which is the x84, you're going to want to download that file. So go ahead and minimize that. So this file is going to be in your downloads. And what, what it was doing to me is I would open it, and it would sit here and say searching for updates on this computer forever. It will never find updates. It'll just say that for hours. So go ahead and close that. You're going to have to close the window and then it's going to keep running in the background. So you're going to end that process. So to fix that, you're going to want to go to services and open your services. Here you're going to scroll down to Microsoft Update or Windows Update, which is here. And then you just want to right click and stop it. So now that it's stopped, it's going to allow you to start it again, but you don't want to do that yet. So now that you've stopped the update service, you can open this, and it's going to say that for a second, but then it's going to let you install it. And since it's already installed on my computer, it's not going to let me install it, but that should fix your game. Once I had that installed, it already started back up my service, so I did not have to start it back up. See here, it's already started. So now that that's fixed, you should be able to hit play. It should not give you the error message, and you should be able to play H1Z1. But as you can see, I got a nice white screen right now, but I did not get an error code telling me that the game could not be played without the service pack. So I hope this guy helped you guys out that were having the same problem that I was. That is loud. And uh, have a good day.